Hey guys, if you can just smash that like button for 10,000 likes, that would be great for this video. Hello everyone, and today we're going to be doing a video about my closest encounters on the 2v2 mode of nearly dying but beating with a 3 crown. So first we're going to start off with the one Klatskimichkin, I don't know how to pronounce that. Anime Gecko, Anime Gecko, which is me, versus Izzy10619090, Jugman2. Now let's watch this one. I'm gonna speed it up. And, uh -huh. Now we're gonna wait it out. You know how we wait out the election and then see who goes first so we can get a strategy going here. He's gonna put down some dragons and we put out a skeleton army. Of course, that skeleton is gonna be encountered by Nero. So he has the two dragons over there. We're struggling with the two dragons. We're wondering how we're going to take those down. He spawns a witch. And then we're all um, hesitating over whether the witch will die or anything. Or will probably. And he takes them that time. And we make an epic comeback, comeback somehow. Because the dragon's supposed to get distracted and many things. And the witch is still right there. We're still losing damage on our king tower. So I decided to put a um, balloon down. While I'm putting the balloon down, he spawns um, a skeleton, which rams right into the side of it. And we, we're hoping our king tower can take that down. So he spawned an archer just in case there's any bad things, and he decides to spawn a dragon right by our balloon. We spawned down goblins plus a skeleton army, but that's soon taken out. Followed by that dragon still over there, taking out all of our things. We're well, we started getting scared because of that dragon, and you know how the dragon takes down 2,000, da 200 damage per second. And we only had 438. So we decided to throw a goblin barrel, followed by a witch and a knight. And the goblin barrel did some damage while the knight came up, taking most of the damage. And we found out that our witch will be able to do splash damage all over that, um... That skeleton army. So our witch is bonding up with most of our skeleton army. She takes it down because she does like 50 or 100 damage points, 10 points. And the dragon is still over there, so we spawn down some archers to take that dragon down, probably. And we spawn down our balloon to come over there and do some epic damage. But it didn't do anything, it just dropped the bomb right there. So we still have the dragon over here, we're, we're hesitating to take out, and our um, king tower takes it out, and then the hog rider comes over here, trying to mess up everything. Our knight's over there still struggling, and we don't know how, and I don't know why he put that rage down, because this hog rider is dead already. And we have this huge skeleton arm just ramming in with the dragon trying to destroy it all with his splash damage. So he decides to um, put down a, a hog rider, and I decided to put down the tower to distract anything that's trying to come over, and I decided to put down the balloon. So he throws a goblin mirror over, and we make an epic combat from being 31. We could, like, he could have threw arrows, he could have threw like rockets, anything at us, and we would have died, but he didn't. He also. How did that happen? So now we're going to go to the next one, I think. It, hold on, let me try and find it. And here we are. So it's Anime Gecko, which is me, and Ariel, versus the... I can't read that language. So what happens here is... Actually, actually like surprising that we actually won. So we're going to wait this out. And so he decides to put down, well, we weren't really caring about that until he spawned down that prince and the skeleton. We were wondering how we are going to counter that off. So we countered it with another skeleton army, and he decided to rage it so we didn't know. So he got one tower down, but he wasn't getting our king tower. He put the dragon right there, and we tried to put another thing right there to try and encounter it, but we didn't have that much lecture about it that time. So we just had all these goblin spear goblins trying to take down our tower, and we didn't know what to do. So he has a knight over there and a spear goblin, and he decides to spawn down a barbarian producer. So as our um, as our hog riders tried to go over there and deal some damage, it was taken down by a P.E.K.K.A. 
And we decided to take that and put down the witch because, you know, it has the defense and stuff. And it's pretty much the epic card inside the in classroom. Right? He decided to spawn down the witch, so we tried to do a do some distraction. So, to help out that witch, we put down some dragons. A dragon, actually, a dragon. So, he, as you can see, the minions over there are dealing bad damage, and he took out our tower. So we're just stuck at 556, um, 556, with a prince and a dragon over there dealing all the damage, and the dragon pretty much finished it off. Yeah, he took it down. And that's uh, that's our second battle. We were stuck at 44 on that one. He could have then again he could have threw any air, uh, arrow in it, it, it at it, and it would have died. So the last one is by De De Telly and Make It Cool, which is me versus Louis Philip, and I still can't read that. Even though, if it, you know, that's not funny. So we're in. The, so this is epic. This is the epic battle we do. So we're gonna wait it out. You know how to get the strategy on and stuff. So we just wait until our until he places down some. So he put, decides to place down a balloon and two, actually two balloons, and it takes down one of our towers. But I decide to spawn the prince over there. And he counters. And, and he decides to try and, you know, try and counter it off with a dragon. And my prince over there dealing damage to their tower. So if... So I had a goblin barrel at this time and I would have thrown it there. But I was still worried about this Pekka and this giant skeleton. And so he decided to attack the wish. So he decided to place out some defense. And the wish got caught on that bomb and it started to explode. While the lava hound is over there dealing some damage, he turn into lava. He turns into lava hooks pretty soon once he gets to that king tower. Because those minions are on his back, so the lava pups come out and just start just taking him down and stuff. And there's one minion left. He starts to try and fly over, and I decided to just you no. Know, he decided to drop a bomb. So once that happened, he drops a bomb on us. Now this is where we start getting worried because he's just throwing bombs at us. We got a prince and followed by some barbarians and a witch, and the and the skeleton army are coming over here to counter our attack on that prince. Now, let's see here. They tried to make a, um, they were, try they were trying to load up the election and try and make a push. But we weren't going to allow that because I threw a rocket at the, well, I threw a rocket at the, um, dragon trying to defeat the dragon and the witch, but it didn't seem to work. So he decided to freeze it, and I decided to just put another dragon right there because I was like, what's the point? So as you can see, that balloon's over there, and we pretty much are... Or see another balloon starts to pop up and we get scared. We're, we're scared down our shivering to our boots. So a minion horde comes over and tries to take out that tower. And we're stuck at 313 and we throw a goblin bearer and a rocket just before he could have took out ours and finished it off. Now, that is our top three closest battles on my on my Clash of Clans account. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, suggest, and also share this video. Goodbye.